everybody, Bullvice89 here, and I am back. I know it's been a long hiatus, but the holiday season is coming, and uh, stuff's getting crazy. Anyway, there's a new, there's some new stuff going on in Minecraft, and I do listen. One of my videos is almost at 140 likes. I know you people out there with the thousands of likes, that's nothing, but to me, that is important, and I appreciate every single one of you uh, taking your time to watch and like my Minecraft videos, and uh, I've created this Minecraft Monday video I know it's not coming on a Monday, but it will every Monday uh, with something new on Minecraft, uh, something unique, and I have a double feature for you today, two new things in Minecraft, and then an awesome map that my friends and I have been working on uh, tirelessly um, to show you. I'll show you one by one and then all together uh, the buildings that are in it. It's a super flat world. We are trying to fill inch by inch, but I'm going to go ahead and show off this new texture pack today and a new skin pack today. Um, the steampunk texture pack is now available. Uh, it's been available for a while. I think it's only 99 cents. And uh, we're going to load it up. It's pretty cool. Um, I think if you really took the time to look at all the blocks, you could really come up with something awesome. And I think I'm going to try uh, after we finish the massive build that we're working on now. Um, I'll try to build some kind of cool steampunk-esque uh, video. Everybody out there, I'm going to start doing tutorials, walkthroughs on things to build. But anyway... Here are the new blocks. As you can see, some of them are really cool. That one has hieroglyphics. Um, just the way they look, really cool, really stylized. The new doors, um, some of the new blocks. As you can see, the wood is really interesting. One side is kind of like metal, one side is like gears, so you can kind of decide which one you want to turn. Uh, these are really cool. The uh, I don't really remember what they're called, but they're all chiseled out and everything. Um, it's really cool. These are the wools, the different ornate heads you can put down, the signs with the gold plate, uh, the cauldron, the beds look really cool, the fences, anvil, the music box with the record on top I thought was a really cool detail. Uh, more hieroglyphics. Check out these cool things. Uh, see the tree textures, see how it has the gears. So you can kind of decide which way you want to place it and it'll make it look a lot different. Uh, you have your chests and your Pistons look really cool as you can see on top there. They actually have pistons a box of TNT and those look like little file boxes um, I'll run you through the menus really quick and I'll also get a lever so you can see the redstone lamp turned on uh, This is the decorations one as you can see uh, redstone and transportation Because a lot of this stuff of course I can't display on on the screen uh, food and things like that. So these are materials. They look pretty cool. Uh, the different foods available. Um, the different armors. They look pretty cool if you want to take your time and uh, try on each pair. Uh, the weapons look pretty cool. The potions. And then you have your miscellaneous eggs. They kind of look like little capsules or something. I'll also show you those in a second. <coughs> As we go over here. These are the paintings. As you can see, there's lots of pipes and uh, drawing boards and this badass, excuse my language, uh, picture of Commodore Fluffkins. That's what uh, I have named him. Really cool paintings. You can really set up a cool little workshop or something like that. And uh, that's actually what I did over here. <laughs> so I'm going to take you inside this quick little building that I made. See, all these pipes can connect into this amazing machine work. Lots of cool pictures you can hang on the wall to make it have that steampunk-esque vibe. I made a little workshop in here with uh, chalkboards and things like that. Oh, can't get out the door. Are the lights on? I built this place with working lights, but no, now they're off. I think something went wrong with the wiring out here and that's why the lights aren't changing in here, but they do in here, as you can see. But anyway, uh, pretty cool. I really like the way this texture pack is. As you can see, the smoke, the cobwebs. Ah, oh, it's amazing. I really like the, the smoke. I built a quick little hot air balloon up here just to mess around. A nice little smoke stack over here. Pretty cool. Now we're going to try out these eggs. Here's a creeper. <laughs> His creepy little robotic legs. That's the weirdest thing. Uh, these cool skeletons. 
Uh, we have a spider, which is, the eye is really weird. Uh, it's, a, it's creepy. It's creepy. Let's just get away from that. Uh, here's a zombie. It looks like it was tested on, like it has an electric helmet on and its eyes are glowing. Kind of freaky. Uh, here's a little slime. It looks like it's in a little jar. I'm going to try to get a bigger one. Ah, there we go. Looks like it's in a little glass jar. Here's a ghast. They fly away so damn fast you can't really see what they look like. Anyway. Zombie pigman. Pretty cool. It kind of looks like somebody tried to stick his face on or something weird. Oh, it's raining. I forgot. Endermen do not like the rain. So I'll have to show you them in a different video. And here's a cave spider. Pretty cool. It has exhaust pipes on the sides there. Pretty neat. Alright, so the next group of eggs, here's the silver fish. I think that's probably one of my favorites. It looks really cool. Uh, there's a blaze. There's a magma cube. Pretty cool. Uh, here's a pig. Looks like he's ready to do some damage or something. Like he's ready to go to a war or something. Here's a sheep with a cool little hat on. That hat is amazing. Metal cow. Everyone needs a metal cow in their life. Iron cow. Here's a chicken, or a chuck. I like to call them chucks. Uh, here's a squid. Well, I apologize, I didn't mean to put that on land, but whatever. He'll survive, probably not. Anyway, here's a wolf. The wolves are really cool looking. Mushroom. Kind of like the other cow will need metal, but it has like weird stilt legs. A little freaky. Uh, here's an ocelot. I'm going to spawn a few of those, because they run away too, like the dumb thing. Ah. Anyway, here's some villagers. All the different... They're trying to run away because there's zombies and stuff around, but... They're pretty unique looking. And if you couldn't tell by the top left corner... I am Luke Skywalker. That is right, Star Wars is now in Minecraft. Because of the recent partnership between Microsoft and Disney. And Minecraft and all that stuff. Um... We get this texture pack. This texture pack is a little pricey. I think it's $3.99. But you do get 50 different skins. You get about 5 Luke Skywalkers. About 10 Princess Leias. A couple Han Solos. Look at this one. This one's really cool. Yoda on the back. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. Got Endor Luke. My personal favorite is next. The Return of the Jedi Luke. Where he's full Jedi Knight style. Awesome. Han Solo, my favorite character. Chewbacca. Yeah, buddy. About ten Princess Leia's. Ooh, sexy. Keep on moving. The Stormtrooper. We got Darth Vader. What I don't understand, though, is why they didn't give him a real cape. I, I don't know. Epic fail, Minecraft. Epic fail. Anyway, check out this bad mother. You know, I'm going to be Boba Fett. So cool. Keep on going. Bounty Hunters. The Emperor. More Troopers. More cast from the movie. R2 freaking D2. And little Yoda. Look at him. Ah, I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Wampa. Rancor. And back to Luke. Oh man. This texture pack is really cool. It's going to make... Star Wars maps, really, really fun to build. Uh, Ewok villages and things up in the jungle trees. I hope you like this. I hope you hit that like button. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook for art and other uh, YouTube happenings. And I hope you all have a great holiday. Peace.